All right. Next, we add some support uh, pieces for the center part of the wing. We have a uh, spar doubler which fits in back. I don't want to stick it all the way in because it's hard to get at. It's a pretty, pretty snug fit. And then we have a couple of these uh, pieces which support the top of the wing. These have a uh, little bit of a triangular effect to them. Uh, so you want to make sure you get that right. I did sand down the one edge that's going to fit against the, um, the wing rib. Pretty snug fit. The fat end goes toward this cross member. Fits in like so. And both of these were just a little bit long, but all you have to do is just basically take off the charred edge on each end. And that pretty much gives you a perfect fit. That'll fit good. And then this crawl support goes in back here. Now, interestingly enough, this crawl support is actually too short um, to fit. Felt a little bit of a gap. It's got about a maybe a 32nd of an inch gap to it. So what I intend to use is just use some scrap sheet. I'll glue on to one end of it trim it all up, and then sand it so that it fits nice and snug in between. These side supports here should be flush with the top. Now I need probably a little bit of sanding down. Not much, maybe a sixty-fourth of an inch. The next addition will be what the kit calls turbulators. And I had a little bit of trouble understanding what that's supposed to mean. It's these strips that run right across here, on the top, on the bottom, top and bottom. When I think of turbulators, I think of something like uh, vortex generators or stall strips, something like that. But these don't actually stick up above the ribs. Um, now, the one thing you can notice is that this isn't your traditional D-tube uh, construction where this section up here is sheeted over and creating the, the D-shape uh, with the sheeting. Uh, so I'm guessing these strips are to prevent the covering from sagging between the ribs uh, 
even though you probably still have a little bit of sag here and here, it's not as bad. And maybe that actually creates a little bit of turbulence uh, over the wing. Uh, that's my best guess. Um, so anyway, we'll go ahead and, and glue these four turbulators in. Okay, so the basic construction of the wing, minus the ailerons, they're separate, uh, is done. Um, I did go back in and add some medium CA to all my joints here and here and here. Um, I think the rest of the wing was okay when I, I glued it up. Uh, there's still a fair amount of flex in this wing. Um, I'm going to go with the, uh, the design of the kit, even though I think it's got quite a bit of flux. I know the covering will add some rigidity to it, but personally I think I'd rather have seen a D, D wing type construction. That would have made it much stiffer. Uh, of course that adds weight, and a model of this size weight is the real enemy. Alright, so we're up to, uh, oh, one other thing I did was I used a, a Japanese style flush cut saw and then I uh, trimmed off all of the risers that were here. I used the flush cut saw instead of a uh, razor type saw because the spine here would make the saw sit up a little bit and might cause the, the blade to uh, dig into the balsa. So for the sanding, I'm going to use several different blocks. I've got a, a 60 grit block, pretty well used already. You got some 120, 150. I also have, I believe this is 150 on a uh, easy touch bar sander. That'll be used for the long, the long sides of the wing. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of planing. This something is called a David. Yeah, David Planer. I've heard good things about it. I think surfboard surfboarders uh, makers use these planes. The whole wing will get a sanding. Uh, the leading edge will get rounded. And of course I need to remove this piece of balsa that I added uh, because of the bow here and the leading edge. And I'll, I'll use this bar sander to uh, flatten out the leading edge and get rid of that bow. Went ahead and moved outside to do some of the sanding, put some fresh 60 paper on. I'm gonna go ahead and try to true up this leading edge that had the bow in it. Um, I used a grease pencil and put uh, marks on the leading edge so I know how my sanding's going.
Okay, so the initial sand got me pretty close to a good fit up here. Maybe just a little bit more there. And maybe just a little bit more here. The trailing edge almost fits. Almost fits. Just a little more sanding, I think, on the leading edge. Let's see if I can get that into focus. And I think the trailing edge will just drop right into place. Okay, well, about 15 minutes of sanding the ribs a little more, sanding the leading edge a little more, and sanding the mating surface in the fuselage where the wing comes in. Come on, focus. Um, got a pretty nice fit there. Pretty nice fit underneath. And the back does slip into place, even though it does require a little bit of effort. Um, certainly much too tight uh, for any covering. So that'll have to be relieved a little bit more. But uh, overall, um, doesn't look too bad. Everything seems to fit pretty nicely. The wing has been sanded, uh, pretty much a final sanding. I don't think I need to do anything else to it before I put plastic covering on. Anyway, just a quick sight down. I think in retrospect, I would have waited to uh, sand off the laser cut uh, char marks. It would have made a much better uh, witness marks for overall sanding. Um, that way I wouldn't have had to make my own witness marks. Anyway, so um, before I got going really any further, um, I did want to check the wing, uh, make sure it was uh, squared to the fuselage. So for that, I, uh, I just stuck a pin back here in the very end, centered, and just used some dressmaker's tape, uh, anything really works, uh, as long as it doesn't stretch. And uh, this side comes up to, and the other side, Yeah, this is a peacock, not our peacock. It just it just showed up at our house one day a couple years ago, and it's kind of been here ever since. Um, he, uh, he kind of sleeps in the trees around the house, and he comes and goes as he pleases, but he seems to like our house. Um, pretty neat bird, very colorful. Shame the sun's not out. He's really brilliant uh, colors when the sun's out. <laughs>